Hello there, everybody. It's dying yet again, or you can call me to do them. Alright. Uh, this is from where we left off last time in Visual Basic, how we're doing the uh, reading from text files thing. And uh, what we're going to do now is we're going to do writing to text files. And all I've done here so far is made a new button called Write, and that's all you got to do. So we're going to get right into it, and we're going to double click that Write button, the new button. And the code we're going to put in there is uh, is going to be the following. We go dim to make a new variable. Uh, we'll make it writer, dim writer as new system.io.stream uh, writer. So not stream reader this time, stream writer this time. So we'll go um, curdir, c-u-r-d-i-r, and that gets the current directory that the application's in as we did before up here okay and uh, as well as that current directory we want to have a slash and we also want to have a um, I think I called it tut.txt yeah I did okay so then we'll close that and that's uh, all we need to do for that variable so it's not really a variable it's more of a I don't know really what they call it in visual basic but it's a it's a it's a dim i guess you could call it um so that's just a thing called writer that's uh that file that we created earlier called tut.txt and what we're going to do is we're going to get uh the writer to write stuff right okay so what we'll do is we'll um when the writer, when the person clicks on that write button, what it'll do is it'll go, uh, r r oh, sorry, write, r yeah. w r i t e r dot write line, and in there we'll go um, text box one dot t e x t. So um, that'll write one line of what's in text box one dot text. Sorry, the text that's in text box one, right? So, you know what I'm saying? So, it'll print, uh, it'll write one line of whatever's in this text box here. So it'll put that on the first line, um, and we also want to put in on the next line what's on the next text box. So we'll go right here, dot right line, and we'll go text box two dot text. So that'll uh, print out uh, those two lines into our text file. All right. So that's all good. Uh, once it's finished doing that, we definitely want to close our writer. So we'll go writer dot close, and then that's all you have to do. And it's really awesome, I know. We'll run that application, and what we got here is we've got that's what we had in the last. That's so what we have in the text field now. I'm going to change that to uh, YouTube rules. Rules. And we'll go right. Okay. So it's kind of like load and save buttons. So we'll go right and then we'll close the application. So the application is completely terminated and its memory is gone. But those text files are still there, obviously. So we can go read and it says YouTube rules. So I hope you enjoyed that awesome tutorial. I'll see you next time. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, rate, and comment.